What's the deal, y'all? Martilli, I'm coming to y'all with another banger video. As every video is a banger, and we are here at MC Whips with the new winter beater of Michigan. A hurricane. You like that? That orange is nice, though. That reminds me. Um, I got some update pictures, and more updates keep happening. And you guys are gonna go insane when you literally see the hurricane. But we got five percent all around, and then you know how we do Saint Square. You know how we tent the car. Shout out to MC Whips, man. Literally do everything. They even corrected my wrap on the top, also. So I'm gonna get out in the. I'm gonna get out in the sun to show y'all actually, you know, this is sunny out. Thank God in Michigan it's sunny out. Right, with the sun out, look how it just sit. So we got the 20, 25 on the windshield, five all around. How we do it, can't nobody see and that's the best part. And yeah, this junk is shining. Huge shout out to MC Whips who literally do everything. And this piece up here was kind of like messed up. So they rewrapped that. We got to do these pieces around here but rewrap this up there so it flow easier with the sunroof glass roof whatever you want to call it but yeah this boy is shining talk about winter beater for michigan if you guys want to see some mods let me know we might put a front splitter on there just comment down below let me know if i should do anything even though it is a daily driver of michigan winter beater car we could do a little stuff if y'all want to see it because this is is an amg by the way but um huge shout out to mc whips literally do anything if you're in michigan and you need something even if you want to come out of the state they do collision to wraps to tent to paint corrections literally all of that stuff i mean look at this so you ever in an accident tell them bring your car to mc whips they do work with insurance and all that stuff too so shout out to mc whips anyways let's get back in this thing and hide from the world because i can't roll my windows down for three to five days which don't take my word for this but this is good tent so it's, it's already like it's not even bubbling on the tent so i mean maybe tomorrow don't don't copy me though Ooh, i don't even know why i just threw myself in the chair like that but here we are and this we we're sitting down face to face saying squad we talking to each other enjoying each other i you know i don't i don't mind while we're in this quick little meeting talking to each other i don't mind if you eat your food right here you know what i'm saying because i know y'all got your leftovers y'all heated up y'all leftovers or you just got dinner made you know what i'm saying you went and got a pizza or something you can you can eat in my face it's fine saying squad i'm not i don't i don't care you know what i'm saying anyways y'all i want to do this video because there is a lot of not a lot of speculation but people are curious a lot of people ask how do you get money? Where do you get your money from? And all of this stuff, and that's why I'm here to explain. How do I have a Lamborghini, an AMG GT, and a C43 AMG all at 21 years old? How do I do it? I don't know, Saint Squad, and that is the video. I don't know, I'll catch you on the next one, peace. Psych, no. But um, a lot of people, a lot of you guys do ask that, a lot of you guys are curious, and a lot of you guys either wanna know how to do it, or want to be a hater and keep asking how do I do it and then claim all this extra stuff I don't you know what I'm saying there's a lot of people out there that are just curious and so we can break it down go over the basics and all that stuff now so that's why I'm sitting down talking to y'all face to face hey, squad go ahead take a bite take a bite I'm gonna let you take a bite of food real quick okay okay cool you know what I'm saying so I got me my stuff right here too you know we got the sweet tea never can go wrong with the sweet tea you know we got the mic nights but um here Y'all have to. Dang, y'all, we eating good tonight, huh? And um, this is a fresh bottle, so I'm gonna go get me my used one that I got downstairs. You know, I already drunk out of. You know, let me let me go get the used one. Okay, there we go. So, how do you afford these cars at 21 years old? How are you doing this? First, I would like to say I am a YouTuber. Okay. I do YouTube. You can get paid from YouTube, and my specialty on YouTube is cars. You guys watch me because, well, obviously my whole goal is you guys to watch me for me, but the cars is a bonus because who doesn't like cars? Everyone likes cars, so 
the whole thing is you guys watch the cars you got the guys like watching the builds i do the cars and all of that stuff you guys like seeing what i can do to the car how i do the car all of that so i'm a youtuber i do cars not just a youtuber but an influencer because i have about a hundred thousand followers on instagram as well so we get in up there and that comes with sponsorships and all this stuff with youtube i get paid which this might sound backwards to the old heads i get paid for making videos i get paid for getting these cars so instead of buying a depreciating asset i buy the car and i get paid for having the car if that makes sense i get paid to do the mods to it and stuff that's why you guys watch the ads that's why you watch the ads right if an ad pop up right now make sure you watch the ad you know what i'm saying that i get paid for doing that think of it like this youtube is like a business i know to you guys who don't do it it may seem easy and stuff like oh all you do is pick is pick up a camera and record but there's a lot of background stuff that goes into it into like finding what to do it costs money to do this so you spend money to make money just how a business is how I like to describe it to people is, imagine if I owned a shoe store, or even this might be a little better, imagine I owned a bakery. So the car is the building where I make the stuff at, okay? So the building you buy where you sell your cakes and all that stuff, where you make the cakes and all that, that is what the car is. So transform the car into a building, I own a bakery. Okay, cool. So the money where you buy the material, like the, whatever the flower and all of that stuff that is the mods but my mods are 10 times more expensive than the material that you would buy for a bakery that is the mod so let's say i get i get a wing for the hurricane that is like you get a machine to help make the cake better or even make the cake that is the machine you get to mix the flour and powder and all that stuff that makes a cake so it is basically like that you spend money and make money but me being in this position thank you Saint squad thank you god for putting me in this position to motivate and reach out to you guys and show what i love to do i love cars since i was a kid literally i grew up in the car family and stuff grew up drag racing my family did and all of that so being able to do what i love in life as like an actual job and a career is i, I I can't be any more grateful. I forget the time of days, you know what I'm saying? You love what you do when you forget what day it is. And I I forget what day it is all the time. So <laughs> thank you guys, Saint Squad. But um, that's basically what it is. And cars are the building, the mods are the cakes. Okay, you gotta pay you gotta pay to make the cake, but then you resell it off. But in my instance, you gotta pay for the mod, but you guys watch and that makes the money for the mod for the mod and stuff and then you come into like sponsorships and all that but we'll get into that, get to that a little bit in a little bit this goes into my favorite quote that i came up with is life is more simple than it seems no i don't have to be doing all this somebody said i'd smell money laundering dude i'm what i was, I was when i read that comment i was like what no, dude, life is more simple than it seems. And this comes all down to, okay, you make money on YouTube. You make money on, then you get into the sponsorships and stuff. So I have a sponsor right now. Shout out to Benzinga, which sponsoring today's video. I know some of you guys are like, cut to the chase, Josh. Is that really all you do to afford Lamborghini and two AMGs at 21? Well, I can tell you another thing I do use is Benzinga. Benzinga helps you build wealth. With that, Benzinga's mission is to connect the world with news, data, and education that makes the path to financial prosperity easier for everyone every day. You ever watch the news, CNBC news, and they give the news that's basically what benzinga is online so you can go online you get the news for everything everything going on including stocks and the stock market me i personally use benzinga and it actually does help with news and knowing what's going on and where to invest your money and when to pull out so if you do stocks and you are lost on anything even with the news just go head over to benzinga.com where you can even sign up for, for their membership benzinga pro which gives you a whole bunch of extra perks and head over to their Instagram too as well. Just Benzinga, they're verified so you'll find it and you can check them out. And that's what else helps me get this car from Michigan, but a Lamborghini and another AMG too, just so you know. So link in the description for Benzinga's website and Instagram and make sure you sign up for Benzinga Pro if you really want to get into it and have all the cars I have as well. Now let's get back into the video. So you get the sponsors and everything. 
So the sponsors pay to have like their logo on the car or whatever, or a promo in a video and all of that stuff. You have sponsors that pay, like Next Gen, they were one of the sponsors. But honestly, Saint Squad, they aren't, they aren't a sponsor anymore. We're still close, but they aren't a sponsor anymore because you guys didn't want to want to get the uh, detail spray. I don't know if you guys didn't want detail spray or not, but you know, y'all messed me up there, Saint Squad. But it's not y'all fault at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm just putting it out there. So next time, you know, I'm saying next time they want to come back sponsor again. You know. Saint Squad get just some detail spray because that junk actually really do work. I detailed the whole AMG after you got caught in a rainstorm with it. So it, it's actually really good. So shout out to Next Gen. Yeah, you have sponsors that actually pay me for stuff. So on top of having YouTube and then you get sponsors and some sponsorships could be like what like five thousand dollars and or twenty five hundred and all that stuff and then you can get some really big ones with some big deals like fifty thousand and even a hundred thousand and stuff like that so it goes all into that influencer part and it's all about monetizing yourself so when i say life is more simple than it seems what i'm telling you is not hard thought this is actually how i make money what i do to make money you know and I'm a YouTuber, I'm an influencer, so I get paid from YouTube, I have sponsorships and all of that stuff. So that is that is what I do. And you don't have to think hard on it. You don't have to be like, well, is it? No, life is more simple than it seems, y'all. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. A lot of people, and now you guys are asking, okay, you make this money from that and that. How do you have enough? How do you make enough to afford this and that? Like I said, I'm a honest. I'm honestly pretty big. You know, 300,000 YouTube subscribers is a lot, and averaging 20 to 30k views with a couple videos at 100k views, that is a lot. Also, and one thing about YouTube in the background is cars has the second highest CPM on YouTube. Kids being first, of course, but cars has the second highest CPM. So car YouTubers generally make way more money on YouTube than let's say people who do like pranks or anything like that. I mean, of course, if somebody do a pranks, get more views than a car YouTuber. But if a car YouTuber and somebody do a pranks, get the same amount of views, the car YouTuber is going to probably make like 10 times more. That's how the CPMs work. How can I afford this? And this is for you guys to listen to. How can you afford this as well? So it all starts with the mindset. I'm gonna be honest, it does all start with the mindset. It's, you can't say I can't afford this, but it's how can I afford this, you know? And you gotta be willing to take that leap of faith and to get it into your business. You gotta be willing, let's say you find a business that you love, something you love doing and you monetize it. You gotta be willing to take that leap of faith to do it. You gotta be willing like, dang, I spend this, I'm, I'm not gonna have no money to spend. But if you believe, you believe in yourself and you believe that it's gonna take you to where you need to be, you gotta say, skip it, boom. I can, be, I can be broke, but you gotta look towards the future. You can't do stuff for the now, but you gotta do the stuff for the five years in the future. You gotta build the legacy up. You know what I'm saying? You can't, oh man, he, he wanna do this, but he not paying me, man. He wanna do it for free. You sometimes you gotta do it for the opportunity because that opportunity opens doors into where you can, instead of making $10 right here, you'll make $100 in the future five times from that door being open, you know? Just all mindset things. It's how can I afford it, not I can't afford it. You can figure out a way to make $100 just like that. Just imagine you sell something easy for $100 and that's $100. And then your car note, the car note is $600 for something. Then it's, if I can make $100 six days out of 31 days, I can afford this. You can't say, I can't afford that. That's 600 extra dollars too much. If I can make $100 out of six days, out of 31 days, I can get this. And that's the type of mindset you have to have. You gotta believe in yourself so much, you willing to go broke, you willing to work hard, you willing to do all of this stuff for the business in the future. Like I say, and like I learned, a lot of millionaires don't plan for the now, but they plan for 10 years in advance. They, they'll they spend 100,000 now just to make 10 million in 10 years. And you might say, 10 years, I want 10 million now. 10 years gonna go by, and then you're gonna be like, dang, if I would've spent 100,000 now, I would've made 10 million. I would have 10 million right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's that type of mindset. You gotta plan for the future, never plan for the now, never plan for the present. As you do stuff in the present, it's for the future. It builds the legacy, just like me switching over into exotics and all of that stuff. You plan for the future, you plan where you wanna go. So for all the nosy people who want to know, 
this this is how it is my expenses are pretty expensive i know it's some it's some, this is for the haters who be like well if i lived at home too i could get all of this stuff okay let me let me tell you something this for this for y'all so my expenses are pretty expensive if you guys don't take an account well a lot of you guys think youtube is super easy you guys don't take an account that i'm buying stuff to mod a huracan the huracan costs 3600 a month that is the car note the insurance is only like three something which isn't bad but this is what i say about the amg the amg is 1200 a month for the car note the insurance is 700 dollars state farm says amgs have special parts or whatever so it's double don't ask me why that is why i'm selling the amg by the way the new car the new c43 is 600 dollars okay a month and the insurance is for something a month on that. AMG, I don't know why, but that's about $1,000. So if I just spent $300 more on the AMG insurance, that's the full car right there. And that's why I'm selling the AMG, by the way. If you guys didn't know, I know a lot of you guys do know, but I'm selling the AMG because it honestly doesn't get any views like that anymore. Like people don't watch the, don't watch the car enough you know so you see it, the amg is that expensive it's two thousand dollars a month which really isn't making any money so it's just throwing two thousand dollars for a car to sit there yes the car is going to be in steema and that's going to be its last hurrah but that's why i'm i'm selling amg guys you got to understand that what i do is a business so if it's not making money it's not making sense even though yes i do love the amg and a few of you who do watch it do love the amg but we gotta grow we gotta expand in the hurricane her kind of bringing in something that's why i'm selling the amg it's all a business and yeah it's gotta go we gotta you, you can't just because you make money don't mean you, can, you gotta be done with money oh i can spend two thousand dollars boom you know what i'm saying you gotta be smart so back to expensive that's why the amg is being sold so all of that that equals up to around six thousand dollars a month but it'll be five thousand flat with um the amg going which thankfully you know what i'm saying we, we don't need yeah, so if you want to buy the AMG, email link in the description, hit me up, or DM me on Instagram, whatever. Shoot me offer. Well, I got a price. Shoot me offer. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. But anyways, the expenses is that. So I'm spending $5,000 a month on cars alone. Now, this is for the haters. You say, if I lived at home, I could do that too. Okay, well, you live at home and then you go, you, your, your mortgage or apartment isn't even $5,000 a month. And you still probably can't do that. So... For the people who say, if I lived at home, uh, okay, champ, good luck, go try it. <laughs> go try it, champ, go get you that million dollar house, that 5K a month, go try that, champ. You know what I'm saying? But let alone that, and then we have plane tickets to go to California every other week, and I'm staying like a week now, 10 days. So shout out to Avenue of the Arts, the home away from Rome. We do have a partnership, but I spend about 4000 probably four thousand dollars a month just going to california that's like paying yeah four thousand dollars a month on top of the five thousand now that i have to spend on just the car just the car payments and stuff five thousand now that's not even including gas or any of that just the car payments now five thousand dollars four thousand dollars to go to california every other every other week every month so i'm spending about nine thousand dollars at just the basics a month nine thousand dollars just the basics a month and i'm telling you guys just put this into perspective for you that's a lot of money and then now you pile that on top of i have to buy modifications like the tunes aren't it aren't cheap mfr mfr is a good price you know what i'm saying shout out to mfr engineering the best of the best but MFR has a price as well. Everything has a price, so now we're adding in mods and stuff. And you see, you see how this is going. You see where this is going, okay? So for the people who say you you stay at home, of course, thank you. I love my mom. My mom is like my best friend. I told my mom I have the opportunity to become a millionaire right now. I'm still not moving out. I'm sorry. I told my mom that. I might just, uh, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> hey, that's just me. Though. I love my mom, man. I don't know what I do without my mom. But for the people who say that, good luck. I want you to try to go buy a million dollar house. Get approved for the million dollar house first. See if you can do that. And then spend 5K a month. Be, I want to see if you can do that. All right. So that all of that together, extremely expensive. Okay. Extremely expensive. And now you guys see how hard I go. Well, I go to California every other 
every other week making them bangers for y'all and all that stuff so i do appreciate you guys sticking around and stuff but knowing that's a lot but that runs with a business so you put that money in that builds the legacy okay that builds the foundation everything that's why you guys are watching i'm putting this money in because you guys are watching me and that's what it is so to sum it up to sum everything up youtube is my business and the business is me buying the cars making them sweet and stuff doing kids everything having fun with them so i give entertainment to you guys you know we make bangers we make movies and i, I bring that to you guys and you guys watch the ads right saying squad watch the ads watch the ads you know what i'm saying and support the sponsors that is how basically i'm able to afford these cars so it's not a depreciating asset for me but it's something that i bought and learned how to make money with and it just looks so glamorous and amazing because it's cars and cars in today's world is a status of wealth it is a symbol of wealth and status and everything and how i'm able to get cars is because that is that is where the business money goes to that is a priority now you can ask all my friends and stuff when it doesn't come to business or anything i am the cheapest person ever dude literally the cheapest person ever i don't you know i'm saying that <laughs> You, you, you can just ask my friends. They'll tell you I'm probably one of the cheapest people ever when it doesn't come to business stuff. But when it comes to business, I accept it and I learned that you got to take that leap of faith. And I've been broke too many times. I, you know, that right way, but it's true. I, I went broke for this before plenty of times. And in the end, it all works out. And you just got to believe in yourself and plan for the future. So everyone who asks, Josh Durant, how are you getting these cars? Well, it's the business. It's, it's just how it is. And... Yeah, I try to explain the best that I can. I know it's a lot of old heads that don't understand it either, but and it's some that do, so thank you. But if you have friends that ask you and everything, like, how is you doing this? Well, just explain to them. It's like you're running a business. That's just how it is. So thank you guys. Thank you, Saint Squad, for everything that you guys do for me because I wouldn't be this far without you. And another thing that I can tell you guys is fine whatever you love doing in life if you like playing if you like gaming if you like doing something whatever you love doing in life learn how to monetize that and plenty other people have monetized that as well and once you find what you love doing in life monetize it turn that into your business like let's say you like gaming you can do like esports or something or you can even stream on twitch start a youtube channel even for gaming if you like i don't know like let's say you like doing hair then you go do hair or you like designing clothes or making custom shoes then you can make a business make custom shoes growing that you could post on instagram i'll make you some air force ones custom boom post that have clients come in and all that stuff it's literally anything is a possibility and a quote that evan says is hard takes a day impossible takes a week because that means nothing in this world is impossible and life is way more simple than it seems so don't forget to put that hard work in it takes hard work consistency and patience just because you see someone else doing it doesn't mean you can't do it either just because you see someone else doing it faster than you that just means it's not your time and when you see that god has something special in store for you that's only meant for you just be patient just stay consistent if you don't see anything working in the first year it might happen in the third year so just stay patient stay consistent all this stuff i've been doing youtube for about five years and it took two and a half years for me to even start gaining traction on youtube i think i can tell you is grind don't stop just keep going life is more simple than it seems don't overcomplicate it and don't think too hard and when i say don't think too hard when you got to think on the decision just do it and just go you know what i'm saying you like dang i'm gonna go broke if i spend money here because then when you start thinking you you start thinking out of it you, you think of ways to talk yourself out of it but what you got to do is just do it and just go ahead and do it and don't be afraid to fail. Failure is everywhere in the world and the greatest people of greats have all failed in this world. But failure isn't failure, it's lessons. It's only a failure if you give up. So never give up. You treat that fall down as a lesson and you get back up. You learn from that and implement what you learn into doing it the next time and you're going to pass the next time. You're going to keep going and going and going. So never give up. Keep chasing your dreams. Do what you love to do and monetize it into a business and everything will be meant for you. Always have clear intentions. So I know this was a kind of boring little sit down video, Saint Squad, but a lot of people ask and I think you guys needed this and I just want to give what it is, how it is, what to do. You know, I'm staying from the crew. You know what I'm saying? One on one, Saint Squad. But a lot of you guys ask and I'm, I'm pretty happy. So I hope this, 
I hope this video has helped you get some insight, helped motivated you even to do what you want to do, live how you want to live. Yes, I have three cars right now. Yes, I have a Lamborghini, but that don't mean the grind is stopping. We got far, far, far to go, Tank Squad. I at least need to hit a million subscribers. By the time I hit a million subscribers, I might have my Aventador right in. So who knows? We got a long way to go. So thank you. If this is your first video, I am Josh Durant. I am 21 years old, and I am paving the way to show you that you can do anything in your life despite what people tell you. Just because you want to be rich and then your grandma say ain't nobody rich in this family don't mean you can't do it because you can do whatever you put your mind to so just remember that same squad remember that i know some people who don't have anyone to believe in them and give them negativity every day but believe in yourself give yourself positive thoughts and know that this can happen this can happen over the time with hard work grind and dedication and just don't give up same squad that's all i can say is don't give up. I had many opportunities to give up, but I didn't, and I kept going. I kept striving, so don't give up at all, and just keep working for what you love and what you believe in, and, and trust me, you don't give up. You do what you love. It's all going to work out in the end, okay? All work out in the end. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, go down and smash that like button, then subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more bangers, because you already know we only post bangers. In the next video, we will be back in California with the Huracan, building the V1 kit, which will be completed when we arrive back in California. And man, I can't wait. We got the registration for the Huracan as well, so don't worry on that. We all good in the hood, Gucci, the Gucci type beat Saint squad. We not gonna have to worry about none of that stuff. So we got the registration for the Huracan. We get back Huracan V1 build is 90% complete. I would say 85%, maybe 80. One, one of those words, but full on complete basically. So just stay tuned for that. Smash the like button. We will be back in California and I will catch y'all in the next video. Hope this was informative and hope this motivated you to be the better person that you can become. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.